Hey guys, welcome to another episode of How to Be an Adult with Me. Uh, so today we're talking about how to embark uh, on a journey in creating your own comics. See, I'm not an artist, but I enjoyed drawing my minor creatures for two years now. And uh, what I've always wanted to do was uh, make a comic with them, but uh, always had difficulties like drawing them in different poses. I've been drawing again and I was like, oh, maybe I should try it with uh, with the Simbans Picasso tab tablet that I got. Yeah, I just went ahead and used a really stupid joke as a four panel comic story. Basically, Antonster uh, is kind of worried because Bosky, his pet, doesn't feel uh, really good. So he takes him to the vet. Pavo asks what's wrong and uh, Dan says that he's afraid that he's gonna have to put him down and then Tonston is really scared and asks, oh, what's wrong with him? And Pavo, the vet, replies, oh, well, he's just too heavy. Just a dumb joke, but um, uh, that wasn't the point of the exercise. So kind of happy with the result, that's why I decided to share it and uh, it's a good thing that I've started like uh, time-lapsing all my drawings so that I can look at them later and analyze where I uh, struggle. Yeah, so let's take a look at um, what happened. Okay, so I just used MediaBank's ability to split the screen into uh, comic panels and then started like jotting down ideas and sketching uh, the, the positions of the characters. It's always been my hugest issue with starting to draw comics for minor creatures that I, I find it kind of hard to imagine the characters in different poses, to draw them in different poses, but I just went ahead and tried it. Then I started inking and uh, wasn't actually paying much attention to doing like a perfect job, I just wanted to get it done. You can see that I'm pretty much just using a regular uh, brush. I, I decided to go with, uh, with handwritten text in the bubbles which uh, looks kind of better, but it's also uh, a, an issue uh, if you post it on, let's say, Instagram, where uh, it would be really small. This is much harder to read than if you use like a font. Okay, that took me about, I don't know, maybe an hour to like sketch and then ink everything. Then uh, I switched to coloring. I decided to color by color, not by panel. So at first they take green and color and toaster on all the panels. Oops, I forgot. A quote here and um, yeah then did some uh, some fine touches and also used the color that I'm gonna use in every character is on the same layer started filling in uh, bosky and tonster pet pink then purple for the tentacles and some highlights and then pavo with the regular gray. Uh, I didn't do any highlights at first, but then I thought that I'm gonna use a technique that I've tried for highlighting him before, uh, which I thought was gonna look cool with all the 3D dimensional uh, poses, so it's like darker uh, around the edges. Then I started filling some details and went on with the background. The idea that I, that I covered the characters first came so that after that it would be really easy to fill in the, the background. By doing that you take care of the details, then you just like use large strokes behind that. For the vet shop I decided to make it like really bright, really poppy and all the other buildings are like grey, like office buildings or whatever. Um, the inside uh, is also kind of bright and the last two I just used some random color. Then I colored in the bubbles and uh, that was pretty much it. I moved to Photoshop after that and uh, here I wanted to put some reflection on the windows. I decided that I'm just gonna like draw lines and repeat those and just gonna place them over the windows and mask them. It worked pretty good. And then did that same thing for the other office building. I also wanted to like switch up the really plain backgrounds on the last two panels, so I decided to use a gradient, just put in like a basic gradient, and uh, that was it. Gotta say, I'm pretty surprised that it turned out kind of okay <laughs> for a first try. Okay, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, gotta say that uh, it was much easier to, to just sit down and do it than, than I expected. I would suggest that you just go ahead and try it. Uh, just another thing that confirms that with every new thing, the hardest part is starting it. Kinda happy, I hope I have time to like draw more uh, like comic strips for minor creatures. 
So you can watch out for those on uh, on Instagram or on the Mind Creatures website or on the Facebook page. Yeah, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thank you for watching and see you next time.